views when I see it my way. Yes, it goes. Yes, it knows. Maybe so. Probably not. Shoulds and coulds. Hello everyone, this is Ben Fire coming to you with Celebrity News and we're going to be talking about the drama in the Simmons family. It has been so much going on on social media these past few days, uh, starting with Father's Day it seems like, and everything. So Kamora and the daughters are trying to expose Russell Simmons. Now the question is, is they trying to me to him in a, their own family? We're going to find out and we're going to listen to what these girls and Kamora, his ex, have to say. And then we're going to break it down with commentary. Let's get it. My dad, I will release my entire like WhatsApp log. I'm proud of how I've behaved. I have said I love you. Happy Father's Day. Whatever. I know things are tough right now, but... You know, I will release the whole thing. I'm proud of how I behaved. I've asked for space or for boundaries. I've said, please don't post pictures of mom when you guys are disagreeing. It's like taunting her. Please don't post random baby pictures of all of us together when you guys are in legal issues. Like, and this all started because he's got folks talking about my sister. And you guys know me. You don't talk about my sister. That's when I ended. I only follow him because I was in the media and I had no choice because it was like wise. I've been trying not to have drama. So I follow him and I try to be peaceful and I say I love you and happy Father's Day when I can. But I mean, this man has left me stranded in a foreign country. As a minor, he cut off like my debit card and didn't tell me. I'm in Greece, like doing a school trip. I realized all of a sudden I had no money. I go to my teacher, I'm like, um, my debit card doesn't work suddenly. I don't know what's going on. My mom sent me some money and whatever, but like, he does really vindictive stuff like that. He'll cut you off out of nowhere. He'll cut off your health care. He'll cut off your phone bill out of nowhere. Like, you don't even, you'll be a minor just because you disagree or you say, don't call my mom all these names. And I don't like to have drama. I want to be a peaceful person. There's so much that I want to do in the world on my own, as my own self. But I cannot just let you taunt me about my mother. And if he says one thing and disagrees with me, I will post it all because he does it. I have videos of him saying awful things that no one should have to hear about anyone they know, much less their mother. He has called me names. He has called us all house of bitches, all you fucking cunts. He has called us terrible things. All because I wouldn't take his side in a lawsuit. My mom didn't ask me to take her side. She said, you go to school and you do your thing. And, you know, mommy's in some things, but, you know, it's your... It, I have a phone. No one stops me from talking to him. I'm 20. I just don't always feel like talking to him. And over and over, he posts stuff and does stuff. And we all say, please stop. I don't want drama. I love my family. I'm sure we'll all work it out. It's going to be okay. And I don't post anything because I want to have a peaceful family. But this is abusive at this point. And I really feel like my career is over. And it's fine. It's just... <laughs> and he threatened me with that too. So... <laughs> Maybe my career is over. You know what? I used to work at a refugee camp. I'll do that again. I'll be a doctor. I don't give a fuck. And I can never get a job in entertainment again. But you cannot just abuse your kids behind closed doors and not take accountability. Maybe I'll regret this when I'm older and I wanted to be a model and now I can't be. I don't know. But you don't get to do this. You don't get to do this. I'm sorry. And I... Something tells me deep down that I'm gonna, you know, I'm not gonna regret this. You don't do that. It's wrong. And literally, I have not been able to say anything because so I've just moved out recently. And you know, a lot of people when I'm working and modeling, I'm so grateful. They'll say to me, "Oh, I, I met your dad ten years ago. He's so wonderful." And I'm working, so I'm just like, yeah, I mean, there's good, there's great parts to him, and we used to be very close, because that's how I make money to move out, he won't give me any money, which is fine, you don't have to give me money, I'm 20, I'm, I'm over 18, I don't know, but then I can't also speak out against him without him messing up my job. No, but 
I know it's going to start more drama, but it's been years. All that money, they're crying about nothing. Russell Simmons doesn't give me any money. I'm staying with my friend in New York. Russell Simmons doesn't give me a dollar. He doesn't give me a fucking smoothie. And you're saying this starts more drama, but it's been years. I've been in the drama for years since I was like 15. So yeah, maybe it feels like more drama now, but I've tried and I just don't think it's fair. That I have to be quiet and I can't sit in. It's ruining my job and I don't get to have a career because it's not fair. All he does is post crazy, out of control stuff and we all just say like... God, like, if I respond, it's going to be worse. If I respond, it's going to be worse. I just, like, had it tough. And I used to be so close to my dad. You can see that in any picture ever. I was the closest with my dad. I have not done anything to him. Anything he says that we've done is like, they didn't call me when I said call. They didn't post a picture of me on Instagram for my birthday. Like, we have done nothing but go to school and stay out of grown folks' business and let them do their legal stuff. And mom has encouraged that. She's been like, yeah, I mean, y'all are in college. Like, be in college. Don't worry about this over here. And it's my dad who, if you unblock him for two seconds, he starts telling you what a cunt your mother is. And now she's going to jail and she's an illegal person and she's the worst and he can't wait to watch her go to jail and die. And like, so then some more stuff even happened. And and, and it's, it's just so ironic that this stuff happened because, well, me Lee, the oldest daughter of Russell Simmons, posted this on Father's Day. It's a picture of her and Kimora on the runway when she was, you know, a toddler. And it captured Happy Father's Day giving all the praise to her mother. I have to say, I think, and allegedly, and all these things, just so I can be, you know, right in saying, like, my feelings and how I feel, what I think. Um, but I, ha I met this person when I was... Um, in high school, in St. Louis, Missouri. I was modeling. I was... 16 years old like i've known you and everybody knows again that's documented you can see um i believe i was maybe a sophomore i know it was before junior prom and senior prom because i went to both of those proms alone with my friends when i was dating them so it was definitely long before junior and senior prom i think it was around sophomore year of high school and again everybody knows this in my life you know they know they I was walking around they see me the point of it is I've known you a long time and I've seen lots of stuff and I just choose to not go there um lots of things that I could say over the time you know I'm typically the one that he and others would call to have their back right I'm the I'm the one that they would call to um, solidify everything to validate everything if you always look whenever they get into trouble they always want to hop up on the live and do a half screen with me again this was years ago because we don't speak now but you know I'm always the one that kind of puts out the fire I'm also the one that always runs to the defense of all my friends now you seen her talking and she was talking about the issues with uh, Russell Simmons and what they were going through. Now, she said everything was cool up until a few years ago. Um, and then that's when he accused them of stealing um, some money and there were some situations that happened. Now, Kamara Lee Simmons was married um, to another guy. I won't say the name because YouTube has been on this channel uh, for a minute. And anyways, there was some... He, he he's He's been caught up in some legal issues, okay? And her name was brought up in some legal issues where it could possibly be some jail time. So when you heard his daughter say something like, uh, I hope your mama go to jail and all this and that, that's what um, she was referring to. So Kamora got herself caught up with her ex-husband in some legal issues. And Russell was saying there was some money deals or something that went wrong and... 
they owe the money. Well, anyway, uh, they went to court, and I think Kamora prevailed in that situation. As a matter of fact, I think Russell's supposed to give her some money, okay? And so I think he was upset about that, which, you know, he probably have every right to be because, you know, when you lose a court case, nobody's really going to be nice to you after that, considering the fact that they had to even take you to court. But it wasn't but from what they are. Um, the type of money that they were accustomed to, it, it seemed like the money that he was having to pay her didn't warrant him to be so upset with her like that. Now, we seen um, Aoki had posted, and I didn't show it on this channel before the sake of... Um, for the sake of copyright and stuff like that. But she did post that there was a conversation between her and her father and he was angry. And what I find to be interesting is, is that people act as if fathers don't get angry. People act as if a man can't get angry today just because you posted, but, 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 but she didn't have what he said. She just posted how angry he was, but she did not post what was said. You get what I'm saying? And and so that there is where we have to dissect things. That's the manipulation of the media. You get what I'm saying? And if you want to know any more manipulation, I found out in this uh, particular uh, story, how uh, Kamora tried to say she met Russell at 16. So now that was at the moment where she was trying to reach out to those that powers that be that wanted Russell a few years ago on the Me Too situation. She letting it be known that she was 16. I was under the age. I was this. I was that. So now she's calling the Me Too on Russell. If you really pay attention to what she was trying to say and if i was russell that's why he went to another country because of the extradition i would have did the same hell i was hoping r kelly would have did it because it's unfair it's to believe all women today and that's just unfair but at the same time i seen what she was trying to do she, that, that was a secret message to those who want russell um, in this Me Too. And then she was talking about her friends. So those are the prior bad acts she was reaching out to. If you really pay attention to what is going on. And I find it to be disturbing and, and crazy. But it ain't none of our business. I'm just, I'm just sick of She said she tired of what's going on. Why not go to the police? If he, if he harassing you this much, why not make a police report? Why not get a restraining order? Why come to social media? And that's the question I've been asking throughout this whole entire um, Me Too era. And the thing that is, pisses the channel of spitting fire off is the fact that so many content creators, big ones and small ones and medium ones, they all, uh, a majority of them, especially the women, are feminists. And feminists need not to really, for one, get in other people's business and family issues, but for two... Um, it's always the man's fault. And that there is just problematic because the simple fact is I knew Kamora Lee was something else. I watched her uh, reality show back in the day and she was something else. You got to remember, she got all these rainbow kids, okay? Kids in different nationalities. And she ain't kept that man, man. What that tell you? In the meantime, between time, thank y'all for tuning in and spitting fire on me, girl. All right, fire out.